It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video we're going to be taking a look at some filming updates from the past few days. Now I did do a video a few days ago about something similar but from that time some other information has come out which we'll go through in this video so stay tuned. We'll be right back to go through these. Alright, as always, before we jump into this, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. If any of the shows on the left interests you, then you definitely want to stick around and follow the channel because those are the shows that I react to or I cover in depth on the channel. The links to all of my socials is down below and in the description. You can join me in any of those social media pages. I actually recently created a Discord channel. So if you're interested in joining me there, you can also do that. We actually have a Friday night live stream this Friday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time and it's gonna be on Discord. So if you wanna join me and chat with me on Friday night, make sure to go there and join. With that said, let's dive right in. Now, one thing I do wanna reiterate for those of you that may not have followed the channel, they're actually filming The Last of Us in Alberta, Canada, partially in Calgary, which is the city that I live in. I actually got the chance to visit the filming set a few times and do a few videos on those specific sets that I visited. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to go check those videos out. This particular video doesn't include any images that I captured myself. Most of the images that were captured actually come from Twitter page, The Last of Us HBO TV series news. I'll leave a link to his Twitter page so you can go and check him out. With that, we're gonna start with this particular image which was posted on Instagram by Neil Druckmann. For those of you that don't know, Neil Druckmann is actually the creator of The Last of Us video game. He actually also directed a few episodes of the HBO series. We can actually see this final image that he posted in Calgary with a Last of Us clipboard and a Last of Us hat. And he says, and I'm quoting here, my time in Canada has come to an end to the best TV crew in the world. Thank you for your incredible work, your passion, and for making me feel so welcomed. I will miss you terribly. Excited to return to Naughty Dog and some warmer weather. The one thing I do want to mention right off the bat is that last thing that he said really hit home for me. But the only difference is that I can't go back to nicer weather. I have to deal with the cold Calgary weather. But that's beside the point. Obviously, this means that his work for The Last of Us TV show is done, which means he's directed all of the episodes that he was supposed to direct. I know that he was directing at least two episodes. Earlier this week, I mentioned they're gonna be filming in the town of Canmore in Alberta, and that's been confirmed. Someone actually posted this image of equipment and some stuff to be used for filming later on in November in Canmore. Now we did talk a lot about what they could be filming in Canmore in the previous video that I did. Not gonna dive deep into that because we've already discussed, but there's two ways it could go. They're either filming the Jackson scenes from the video game. We didn't see much of Jackson in game one, but they might be remixing the story and having more focus on Jackson in the TV adaptation. The other way it could go is that they're actually gonna be filming the scenes with Ellie right after Joel's injury. If you remember, there was a lot of scenes with Ellie in the winter time at a lakeside resort. So this could be them filming that particular scene. And the timing makes a lot of sense because we're definitely in the winter period in Alberta from now on until even March in some years. There's a lot of snow, there's a lot of cold weather. Now, whether that's original material for the TV adaptation or whether 
it's something that was already in the video game remains to be seen. Speaking of the Lakeside Resort, they will be doing filming at this bridge in Canmore, which is around a pretty nice area, like it's beautiful down there. I don't know about being there in the winter, it's really cold, but it is definitely beautiful. But this is also confirmation that they're gonna be filming things around some sort of a river or a lake, which could be definitely from the part in the game where Ellie is at the lakeside resort. We also did see these pictures come out of a few horses and a picture of possibly Pedro Pascal on a horse. So that could indicate that they're filming with some horses, which is definitely not surprising at all. We've seen that tons of times in game one and game two, but People have brought up that maybe they're gonna be filming this particular moment from the game where Joel and Ellie are in some sort of a farm and they are petting that horse that we see. I don't remember exactly which part of the game this is, but it doesn't really matter. I also want to talk about this particular set piece. Now the one you see on the right hand side is actually not a real image. I thought it was, like if you watch one of my earlier Last of Us discussion videos, I talked about this particular picture on the right as if it was a real picture because it just looks legit. But it's actually a set concept, like what they wanted the scene to look like or something along those lines. And the adaptation of that is what we see on the left hand side. So we see a similar entrance. Obviously it's wooden when the concept set was concrete walls, I think. But obviously there's a lot of work that's gonna go in post-production to possibly make what we see on the left hand side look like what's on the right hand side. But this is most definitely scenes from early on in the video game, the quarantine zone chapter of the game. We can also see other images from that area. These images were actually posted by Twitter page, The Last of Us HBO TV series news, which I mentioned earlier. So we can see quarantine zone right there, the Fedra sign and all of that. So this is definitely things related to the quarantine zone chapter in the game. We can see more of that here. Not much to say other than, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do in post-production to make it look a little more like the video game. This is cool and all, but it still looks like a set piece. You know what I mean? It still doesn't look as polished as you might expect. Obviously it's early on, so they might be doing more decoration and things like that later on. And even like I said, post-production work. Someone also told me that they set up screens all around the perimeter of the quarantine zone and I'm assuming that they're going to be using that for green screen. Another sign that they're going to be doing a lot of work in post-production. Now one other thing I want to mention is that they did film some quarantine zone scenes a few months ago but it appears that they're doing more now and that they're not done with filming of the scenes for the quarantine zone chapter of the game. We have some more pictures, not much to say other than it just looks like wall being set up around some sort of an area, but we obviously can't see the inside to make any more comments or predictions. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go through in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to share and smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.